Let's take a look and see how to set up one of the ingenious mesh cams or mesh cameras. So first thing you want to do is to find the IP address. If you have a DHCP server in your network, then it's going to automatically assign one to the camera when you plug it into your network switch. If you don't have one, then the IP address will be 192.168.1.200 as per the directions. Now the reason I found this at 15.160, as you can see at the top, is because I went to my Comcast router and I went to the connected devices area. Then I scrolled down and I found the EWS cam, the 1025 cam. I clicked on it and it told me it was this 15.160 address. All right, so now that I know that that's the IP address, I was able to get to the login page. And the first time you go in, it's going to be admin, admin, lowercase. So admin's the username, admin's the password. Click on log in. And once we log in, of course, we're going to probably want to change that password. And now it's showing us the camera. So the camera is sort of pointed up at the ceiling right now. It's not doing too much. And uh, we can go ahead and click the drop down and we can change to different resolutions if we want. Of course, the first one was a little bit better. There we go. Let's go ahead and click on Home. And when we're in Home, we can see the IP address, the fact that it's getting it from DHCP. We can see the wireless information as well. And we can see at the bottom the mesh status is not yet connected because I don't have a second or third camera plugged in yet. But I will soon, so you can take a look for other videos. We can see the wireless is on for 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, although right now I'm connected with a wire because you have to connect with a wire before you can connect to it wirelessly. So let's take a look at some of the different options here. Of course, this is the reboot button. So if you see my cursor here, then we have the live view, which we were looking at earlier, and then we have the settings and then the log out options. Let's click on settings and let's just take a, an overall view of how it looks. Now you may get prompted to install Flash or one of their viewer programs. So if you do, just go ahead and click to accept that if you want to be able to use that web browser. Uh, you may have more problems with Chrome than you do with Firefox or Internet Explorer or Edge, just because Chrome doesn't like Flash very much. So this gives you an idea of the memory it's being used, LAN IP information, and again, it's not yet connected wirelessly, but we will do that in upcoming videos. And let's go ahead and we can look at, under Overview, we can click on Connections. We can look at Real Time, Network, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm going to do uh, videos that are going to cover each of these different areas. Rather than have one long video that you may not want to sit through, we'll just click on or create videos that focus on specific things that you would like to see. And then you can just watch what you want. So that is an overview of logging into the Ingenious Managed Wireless AP Camera or the Mesh Cam. And stay tuned for additional videos.